Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. Today we will be expanding Crater Lake with a new marina. I've been kind of eyeballing this area for a while now, and so I think today is a good day for us to start diving into this area. I do also have a couple plans for this bigger area, and I do have a couple suggestions that I'm still thinking of. Thank you all for making this city one of the best cities of, of 2022. Without the viewership, I definitely wouldn't have been able to do it. Um, everybody's support has really kept me going. Um, this city is truly amazing. Definitely one of the best cities I've ever made. And I kind of wish I would have been able to show more in the cinematic for the best cities of 2022. It was really hard to kind of cram it into that space because we have so much more than what it shows. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing we need to do is grab our level terrain tool and we are going to level out just a piece along the coast for us to have like a waterfront area. And so I'm going to grab probably about like right here and we're going to come out into the water just a little bit. We need to expand out this space just just a bit. We don't need to get crazy with it, but we do want to have enough room to be able to plop down some buildings and stuff. So we'll probably go like right about there and we'll need to clean that up as well. Let's go ahead and go bring this out as well. Come out like right there probably. And then I do want there to be a seawall for this as well, just to kind of protect the harbor a bit. So what we're going to do is probably bring one out. I'm thinking like right here. And basically what this does is it protects the inner harbor from any sort of wakes or anything like that so that the boats in the marina are a little bit safer. So we do need to let this flood out real quick and kind of see the waters really rushed up. Luckily, we don't have any buildings around here. All right. So now that it has flooded, what we can do is start working on a little bit of our infrastructure. So we need to look at where we're going to have some access points. What I'm thinking is we want to get at least one freeway entrance. I'm probably looking at this area right here, which would mean we need to turn this into a bridge. But then I'd also like to get probably a connection to this road layout and probably this one as well. And what I'm thinking is we'll take this road and we'll loop it all the way around into like a ring road, have it come down here. And I did take a little bit of inspiration from another creator by the name of Imperator. If you guys haven't checked him out, I definitely recommend it. He recently did a coastline build where he utilized some of the bridges from the Bridges and Piers content creator pack. And I thought it was just such a cool look. And so I really want to try to capture that. We're going to do like a multi-tiered setup. So the first thing I want to do, we're going to upgrade this road to a bridge going all the way down. And we may need to, and we don't want to do that. We want to do elevated. We may need to come through here with the network multi-tool and kind of level out this road because... Uh, this is one of the vanilla maps, and um, you can definitely tell that their map making skills were a little, you know, they were they were new to it. And so uh, you can kind of tell with these little bumps and stuff, it was just not that great. So what I'm going to do is go into the network multi-tool, and I'm going to probably level out a couple areas on either side. So I'll actually probably grab the move it mod first and I'll grab this and then it looks like this one's actually lower. So I'll control H right there just to make it the same height. And then I'll come over here and do the same thing. So I'll grab these two, make this the same and then go through network multi-tool and grab these two, level it all out now. And it actually looks like we may want to be a little bit higher up. So maybe we'll go a little bit higher than that. So if I grab this one over here and then come all the way over here. Let's go ahead and level that, and then we'll do the same thing right here. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to turn this into an elevated highway so that we can go underneath it. Now that we have that, let's grab this. We're gonna come all the way over here to our raised portion. We'll go like that. Let's do the same thing here. Come all the way over here, go do the same thing. We wanna make sure they're the same level. They are perfect. And so now that we have that, let's go ahead and bring these over here now. And we want to Make sure that these are the same and it looks like they're, they're pretty close so I, I got that going we'll bring this back go like this and what i'm gonna do is just basically do these do this all the way down so that we can have this uh, a little more level instead of having these weird kind of bumps up here all right so now our highway is pretty level going all the way down you can kind of tell we still got a little bit of a bump here i wonder if we could just fix that just this little bit and it's gonna bother me if it's not perfect so if we go like this Go like this and then go like this and do the same thing go right there it just makes it a little bit smoother i don't know if that's going to increase the throughput of the traffic i know in real life it probably would just from not having all those bumps but in the game i'm not sure if it's going to or not so now that we have that let's go ahead and grab this height that we did all the way around and let's go ahead and bring this around we want to probably go all the way over to the beach over here we're going to do a little uh, beach resort area i don't think we're going to do it on this episode but we definitely want to uh, leave some room for us to be able to expand over there. We want to go like this. And then that way, what we can do is actually have our ring road probably cross the highway right here. I think that that would create a nice little look. 
we may even just extend this out a little bit more go like right there and so now we have enough space to be able to get a road underneath we can get a highway connection in here and really get this looking pretty good so let's grab our road now so we want to utilize the bridges and piers road and what i'm thinking we'll probably do this two lane road and we'll go back to unmodded so we can be on the ground and we will create a couple cross sections now and we want this to go all the way out to the edge and we're actually going to get rid of the sand on this section because this is a harbor we're not going to have any beaches on this side and so now we have removed most of the sand looks like i still forgot a couple of little sections it does take a little while for this to turn green again as many of you probably know so let's go back to our roads now. So I want this to go out. I'm thinking probably four. We'll come up again. Let's go out four again. Oh, I don't want to be that close. We'll go out four like that. Come out here. And I want to create a road that's going to follow our little beach right here. I think this beach may be a little bit too big for what we're trying to do. It's really going to encroach upon our land a bit. So we're going to bring this back just a little bit. This would be something where they would use the proceeds from the sand to help fund the project. So... Uh, sand is pretty valuable especially if it's silica sand they can turn it into glass and stuff so let's go ahead and remove this and then that way what we can do is create a little bit of a ring road around this so we'll grab our road and have it follow along the sand and then that way we can connect up these now let's go ahead and turn back on snapping so we can get that 90 degree angle bring these down and i do want to have roads that flank the highway as well We'll probably leave a little bit of space for us to get some buildings on the inner side yeah we'll probably go like that i think that that looks good and then that way we can come up here as well let's go ahead and actually measure that out four before we get a little too ahead of ourselves nice and so now we have a little bit of our road layout here which is fantastic so we'll bring this out again try to go to four and it looks like it's going to be just a little so let's go to road guidelines and so this is going to create a little bit of uh, uniformity in our area and we do need to place down some schools and other other services so i think that this is going to be great I don't know why we're getting flooding right now this is uh not great should have settled but let's go ahead and do our piers around so i'm actually going to utilize the big piers assets and one of the cool things with these i covered these in the past um these are like key walls there is a, a big key wall as well but they operate as networks instead of keys and so they work a little bit better than the key walls do i really hope in city skylines too that they adopt this function for key walls rather than our current uh, way of doing keys. So we'll go ahead and bring this down and then let's loop this around. All right, so now what we're gonna do is start working on that ring road. We will utilize this European six lane stone bridge and we'll go into network multi-tool, grab the parallel road tool and let's go all the way around. So I think we'll probably go to like right about here. And what we need to do is now extend this out. So we're going to hit that plus sign I want to create enough space on the inside to be able to do some buildings, a little, nice little waterfront. I'm thinking some organic and local produce. Something that's just going to create a nice space in front of our marina. So we'll probably go out to right about here. And now what we need to do is go ahead and raise it up. So we are going to lift this off the ground. And I want it to be high enough for roads to be able to get in there. I don't want it to be too high though. I'm thinking this right here is probably high enough. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and hit enter. And it does look like we have a couple little sections in here that are a little weird. So what I want to do is probably just remove some of these nodes. So if we remove that, we'll come back through and see if we have any other nodes that are right next to each other. No, it looked like that was the only one. And so now let's go ahead and grab that road again. And I want this to turn and go over the highway. So we'll probably go like right here and then let's have it go straight across. Let's actually uh, turn off snapping so that we can make it parallel. We'll go like right there and let's make sure that we have enough clearance. We don't. So let's um, go ahead and lift this up. We'll go like right there. And then what we can do is use the slope tool and just kind of slope this a bit. Let's see. So maybe if we go back one more. I mean, it's still a 10% grade is, is pretty big. Let's... um right there so 6.8 that's actually not bad and then we have enough clearance for the freeway now which is good so let's bring this down i want this to go like right there and let's check this out so it looks like we could be just a little bit taller we want to make sure that we have enough clearance for trucks or any sort of heavy vehicles passing through here so i think this is pretty good we have quite a bit of clearance above this is probably like a you know 15 or 16 foot clearance probably even higher than that and so I think that that is going to be satisfactory. And so now we have this road kind of looping around, which I think looks really cool. What I want to do is go ahead and level out just a couple portions of this that are going to be about the same height as that road. So we'll grab this. Let's go ahead and go like right there. 
Let's loop this around now. And so we wanna create some inlets as well. So we're gonna create an inlet right in the middle because I want this to be like a transit center. But then we'll come up over here, raise this up, come all the way back here, and then we'll have another inlet right here. And then let's go ahead and close this off. We'll probably have this road loop all the way around as well. I think that that would be good. So let's um, go ahead and grab this road again and complete it with the parallel road tool. So if we go like that, now we have this road continuing on. We do need to connect up these two sections. So we'll go ahead and grab these. I didn't mean to delete that. <laughs> so we will uh, redraw this in now. So we'll go like this and loop it back. Fantastic, perfect. And so now let's go ahead and upgrade some of these to ground sections now. So we know we want this to be a ground section. We'll probably have this loop all the way around. I want another inlet over here. And then we will turn this into a ground section. And then we will turn this into a ground section. And then I think we'll even turn this and we'll have a road come underneath. So I think that that's probably good right there. Let's go ahead and smoothen some of these areas out just to make them look a little bit better. We will now go ahead and create a key wall going around the outside. And I'm going to utilize this stone key decorated because I really like the turns that it gives you with, with, the, with this key wall. So now we will follow, let's actually use the parallel tool again and go from here all the way down to here. And we don't want it to be right next to that road because we want it to actually cover the bit of hillside there. So let's go ahead and just hit enter right there and then let's um, flip this around to the correct side. So we'll go to invert segment, bring this all the way around. So this is actually a really neat tool within the network multi-tool. So invert segment mode, this is one of the things that I utilize to, uh, especially I normally only use it with key walls, but it really helps out whenever you're doing like custom key wall work. Let's go ahead and complete it on these other sides as well. So I think for over here, we will end up turning this into another ground piece because I really want this to come up on the hillside. So if we come up here, let's go lower this down now, we'll go like right there. And then let's upgrade this to a ground piece, probably all the way back to like right there. And then that way we can kind of have it curve up the hillside, which is really what I was trying to go for here. Cause then that way this can provide some nice little uh, access for this area. So we'll probably have this loop up, come up here, probably cut through here. So we'll have this follow this. And then let's do the slope tool, have this come up here have this slope down, have it follow along. And let's go ahead and turn back on the terrain tools so that we can kind of see where we're working with. And we want to follow the contours of this so that it's just a more natural grade. Otherwise we'll end up with just a really extreme, uh, really extreme grade up there. And we do want it to connect up here. So what I'm thinking, we will probably utilize the slope tool, grab this and have this slope all the way down to like right there. And then that way we can have some pretty good access over here. I mean, this is really where we're gonna run into a lot of problems if we if we don't pay attention. So we'll bring this down and then go like that. And then I think we're going to connect this up over here as well. So we'll bring this across, connect it up. And then that way we can just turn this one in, go like that. And then let's utilize the slope train tool. So, or the slope tool so that we can get this looking pretty good now. So we'll come all the way down here. And this is gonna kind of mess with our terrain a little bit, but it's gonna make it an even grade. And so now we can kind of see, and we could even turn this into a bridge piece too, which could actually look really cool. So if we grab our row, let's go ahead and turn this into a bridge piece. Yeah, I go like that. And so now it's like a hillside bridge. I like that a lot. It does look like we need to slope this guy as well. So we'll grab this, go up there. So it's a 9% nine, 9 grade. I mean, that's still pretty high. What we can do is go into the network multi-tool and actually make this into a sloped. So it's, uh, you know, 9% is definitely a big grade. It would be hard for a lot of like semis and stuff to make it down that. I think we're just going to leave it like that. You do sometimes see hills that are that extreme and in really hilly areas like that. And so I'm not going to worry about it. We do need to put a little key wall over here though. And then we'll start uh, working on our other road layouts. All right, so now that we have that, what we want to do is start thinking about our overall road layout. I know I want to get some pedestrian roads in here. I'm thinking we'll get a pedestrian road that kind of flanks this key wall going all the way around. I think that that would be a nice look. So we'll probably utilize this. We'll do the small sandstone pedestrian street with trees. I like the trees in the middle. I think it's a, a really nice touch. And then let's go ahead and use that parallel tool again, just so that we can make sure that it follows this all the way down. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And then that way we can get some small organic and local produce on the inside. And more importantly, like some palm trees and walking paths and stuff like that, just really kind of butter it up. And then I do want to connect up these roads. I'm thinking we'll probably do a couple roads in. 
So we'll let's go ahead and turn on snapping so we can get a nice 90. We'll go one in and then let's go ahead and do one over here as well. We'll go one in. Let's turn off road guidelines so we can get that nice perfect angle. And then that way what we can do is connect these up, go like this, and then let's go ahead and just turn this in so that it can kind of mimic that other side. And then that way we'll actually extend out this road. So we'll grab this and then let's just have this probably go down. We want it to follow that other side. I'm thinking about there, go all the way down. So we'll go like that and we could even extend this one out too. I think it kind of blocks off that little section. I think that that may be um, a little too close we'll kind of see so we'll um, extend this out have it follow the key wall again and have it terminate right there and then that way we can actually just connect these roads up with the pedestrian road and we are going to come through here and actually do some uh, um, some trolley roads as well or some tram roads and so let's get this road now if we can get this to come through here Maybe if we move this pillar just a little bit, if we go like that, perfect. We still wanna make sure that we have good coverage there. So we have this coming up. And so let's bring this up now, go like this. And what I'm thinking, we'll probably have this road snake off of this road. And then that way we can kind of curve it back and then have it line up with this lower road. And the reason I curved it is because of the hill. So we'll go like that and then connect this up and let's go ahead and check out that slope just to make sure that we didn't create anything that was a little too crazy. Grab this, let's go ahead and hit enter. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. So now it kind of curves around, creates a nice little space. Let's go ahead and do the same thing here. Let's maybe go one more back. Let's um, carve out a little bit of a space right here. So I'm thinking we'll probably go like right there. Maybe let's come off the back side of this too. We do want this. So this is gonna be our transit terminal. And then let's come back here, create a nice little connection through. We have this one coming up. I don't know if we're gonna do a connection through here. So we'll just go like that. We can always do another bridge too. So I think we're gonna keep this primarily the way that it is. Maybe we'll do like one hotel up here. I think that that could be good um, because it's so such a uneven terrain. It'd be hard for us to get something really big in here. But I think like one hotel right there could probably look good. And then that way, so we have our hill coming up. We have this. Um, we could probably even just snake this all the way down to even it out a little bit more. So if we grab this and went all the way up to the top, let's look at that. Yeah, so 6.8, it's actually a little bit better and you can kind of see it's actually a little more level with our terrain over here, which is kind of what I was hoping for. So now we can kind of snake this road off and connect it up with this uh, road layout over here. And so I want this to connect up with this road. So we're gonna come out one, come out one, come out one. And I want this to kind of curve around just to follow the, the road layout a little bit. So we'll hold shift, let's control H right there just to make sure these are the same. And then we'll grab that free form tool, connect these up, go like this. And then that way what we can do is actually connect this up like that fantastic and so let's go out one more right here and connect this up with it we'll go like that and then that way we can even connect that I wonder how this is gonna look now uh, so it'd be nice if we could get this to come down I, I don't really like that we're leaving so much unbuilt right there I wonder how this is gonna look so if we go like that how much of a terrain difference is that so it's uh, I mean Pretty extreme maybe if we grab that slope terrain tool we might be able to fix this just a little bit so it actually does just a little bit it's a little bit of a slope but it, it creates a little more buildable area all right so now that we have that let's go ahead and replicate that on this side what i'm thinking i really like this uh the curvature of this so if we bring this out one the reason i decided to do this was so that we could have something a little bit so if we go out six more and go out six more here go out six more here go out six more here what it's going to do is create a little bit of a symmetry in here we could choose to connect this one up as well i think because this is so close to that road though it's not going to look as good if we try to bring this close so like we could even try to just match it up over there and see what it looks like. So if we go out six more on this and then connect these up, I don't think it's going to really look that good. It actually doesn't look as bad as I was thinking, because then we can extend these out as well and continue on our, uh, our grid. What we can do is now grab all of these nodes and level them out to the ring road. And it's going to create a nice little grid pattern for us to place down some hotels and stuff. I think we'll probably even come through here and probably get rid of a few of them just so that we can create some bigger spaces. But I do wanna get some residential. We have a pretty high demand for residential right now. We have a little bit of a demand for industrial kind of creeping up. So we'll get some offices. 
and then we have a demand for commercial so we'll do probably some wall-to-wall -wall commercial i think that that would look cool and voila and so now we have a pretty nice little pattern kind of showing up around here i really like the look of this and we could even probably extend this one out and have it come all the way over here let's see if we can match it up because i think connecting it up over here would actually be good so if we came out like right here went out 16 meters and then our 16 units leveled this out and then connected these up yeah, I mean, it doesn't really follow this, which is kind of frustrating. It's just because of how how much farther out uh, this curve is versus this curve. But I think it does satisfy our connecting these up, which is good. So we're going to create a little bit of a space in here. I think we'll even keep that back road. Even though it, it doesn't match up, it, it does match up with this overall grid. I kind of wish we could just bring that out a little bit more. I'm going to try to play around with it and see if I can get it to look a little bit more like that other one. I mean, that's a little bit better. It's not perfect, but it's a little bit better. So now we do need to connect up our transit hub to the upper area. So we could just try to have this road come down into the lower road. Let's go ahead and see what it's going to look like if we do that. So if we bring this out and then bring this out and we connect this up, how is this going to look? So if we bring this down now, Let's look at it though. Yeah, 20%. I mean, that's huge, especially buses would have to make it up that. I wonder if we could do a tunnel. So we we could definitely probably have, we'll grab a two unit row, just a standard two unit. And then we'll have this probably branch off from right here. Yeah, there we go. And then that way we should be able to just connect this up now. So if we go underground, just connect that up. Let's um, see how that looks. So it doesn't look bad. What we can do is just shift this back uh, so we do need a little road in between so let's go ahead and add in a little node here so if we add in a node right there what we can do is bring this out yeah i think that looks a lot better because our tunnel kind of goes in here and then we can even see well the grade doesn't look too bad let's um hit that slope tool though just to make sure that we're not dealing with any sort of crazy grade so if we go ahead and go like that yeah, that's actually pretty good. And we could do it on this side as well, just so that it's not kind of blocked in here, though the buses will be allowed to go on this pedestrian road. Maybe we'll, let's actually, let's allow that. So we're gonna upgrade that to a pedestrian bus lane road um, to provide just a little bit better access if I can find it. Maybe it's in the bus tab. Yeah, it is. So if we go in here, yeah, we'll go like that. And then that way we can provide just a little bit more access for these buses. So we can bring that and then let's go ahead and loop this down. And then that way we can turn this road into a regular bus lane road. So we want it to be a regular road that has a bus lane. I'm thinking a two lane. Maybe we'll just keep it like that because in order to get a bus lane road, we're gonna have to give up it being a regular road and I really don't wanna do that. Yeah, there we go. I think that looks pretty good. We do have a little bit of a cul-de-sac issue happening here, but, but by providing this outside relief, we have fixed it a little bit. And then I do think we're gonna have trams come down here too. That way we can get tram access all the way through here, which I think would be fantastic. We'll probably have trams come all the way up over here. And then we do need to upgrade this road to a tram road. So we'll grab our tram road. Let's have this go all the way down, go this way. And let's actually loop it around this way too, because then we can have our trams going opposite directions kind of provide access down there, which I think would be good. So now we have the tram coming all the way down here, connecting up to our station. We could have the tram go down here, but I think we're just going to utilize the bus um, bus station. So let's um, let's place down a bus stop, and I think we're going to utilize this new one. Turn it around. That's actually not the new one, so that's not the correct one. It's a bus depot. So we want to utilize this one. Yeah, there we go. Nice. I kind of wish, I wonder if we can remove a node in here. I think we can upgrade that to a different road type, though it's just going to look weird. So if we upgrade just that middle section to a bridge, it does change road types there for a second, but it allows us to have that, that bus station down there. And it provides these nice little tunnels on the other side, which I think look really good. I actually like this. I think that that works out really well. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And then that way we can turn this middle section into our tram stop. So we'll grab just regular tram roads. Let's actually go into the tram tab to grab that. And then I'll use the move it mod to just adjust these so that they are a little more even with that other road. And so now we have a nice little bus station, nice little tram stop. We'll probably do some shops on either side. And then I think I'm going to extend out our key walls going all the way around just to kind of clean it up. I definitely feel like having those key walls like that's just dead ending isn't isn't the best solution so it would be good for us to get some sort of road access down here as well and also down here i was kind of playing around with a few different solutions for this and it's kind of tough because of the terrain so in order to actually get this road to have a somewhat decent slope 
I think you have to have quite a bit of space. So let's look at, I had a theater that I wanted to use in here that I think would be really cool. It's actually in our unique buildings tab. So it was this London Aquatic Center. I thought it was a theater, it's actually an aquatic center. So I'm thinking, I don't, you know, it kind of looks like this is gonna be a little bit too tight with that road. I wonder, let's go and play around with this and see if we can get something a little bit better. Go like that. Let's see if the aquatic center fits in there. So it does. Oh uh, yeah, that's actually really nice. Kind of wish it was not as tight. Let's bring this back just a little bit more. Let's see. So how badly do we clip that back wall? It's actually not too bad, especially we're going to get a key wall in there. And so that's going to... Uh, clean that up a bit i'm feeling I, you know i'm thinking that we're, we're not gonna be able to get a road in here because it's just gonna be too tight yeah if we extend this up over here i mean we do have road access so it's not a cul-de-sac and there is emergency road access on this side i think that that's probably gonna be good and then we'll just do some pathways and so let's uh jump over here and i think we're going to we need to get some zoning on this one we're kind of messed up right there let's see if our zoning is messed up anywhere else it's not so we'll go ahead and connect this up and then we're going to have this road kind of follow along the coast. And then that way we can grab this road and actually have it kind of loop around. So I want this to go this way and then let's go ahead and loop it around now. Yeah, I think this is going to be good because then this is just going to provide a little more freeway access. So let's um, grab that slope tool now. We'll go all the way from up here and go like right there. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And then we are going to turn this into some ground pieces as well. So we'll turn all of this into ground pieces going all the way down. And then we'll go like this. I think we'll probably keep it like that because I do like having the bridge over here. I think it's a really cool look. Um, we're, we're not really going to mess around with too much of this uh, for this build. You can kind of see that this, this slope is a, a little extreme though. So let's grab this and have it come. Uh, let's have it come down here and see what it, see what it does. So eight. Yeah, that's not bad. And we can use the soften terrain tool to kind of make that a little more even. That was just a little too extreme. We're definitely working with some hilly terrain. And so um, they're just things that we have to deal with. Let's uh, connect this up now. We'll have this come across, go like that. And then let's uh, divide up a couple of these. So I know I want to get some hotels. I want to get some residential. So we'll do a hotel up here. We'll probably get some shopping and residential around the outside. We're going to do something else over here. I haven't really decided yet. And then we need to do the marina and, and uh, schooling. We still need to get actually quite a bit. So let's um, actually do the services first. So let's do a hospital. We're going to use this high capacity hospital. Let's um, make sure that it gets pretty adequate coverage and it doesn't really provide coverage over there, which is kind of frustrating. So let's get this in over here and we're going to build out just a small little section. We'll go like this. And let's actually extend it out just a bit so that we can get a little bit of parking in here. Because we're playing with mods, we have access to parking. And so we, we definitely need to utilize that, especially for a hospital. So let's extend it out just a little bit further. Yeah, because then we can put in the parking garage right here and do some uh, smaller parking in the middle. I think that that could be good. Yeah, it's okay that they're gated. Maybe it's just for safety reasons, but it looks good. Now we got a parking garage. We have some surface parking. And then we have our hospital, which is fantastic. So let's uh, get our fire department now. So we'll come up over here now, go like this, and then let's get our high capacity police station right or fire department. And then let's get our high capacity headquarters. And then let's get a few more uh, parking spaces in here. And so this would be parking for all the employees and stuff like that. And I think that this actually looks a little bit better than what we have over here. I think I'm going to uh, change that out real quick. Yeah, nice. I like that. And then we could even do like a small, small little gated uh, one for maybe like the police chief or something. I think that that looks good. It's a lot of parking, but um, because of uh, the fire department and everything, a lot of times these do tend to have a decent amount of parking. I think I'm going to put a little small fence around it though, just to give it a little bit of security. And voila. So I did parking all the way around. I did two little entrances as well. So now there's an entrance here and an exit there, which I think looks really cool. I actually really like that. And then let's do some schooling now. So let's actually check out our schooling. We haven't looked at it in a while. So our elementary is, is huge. Let's actually check out our budget for that. So we haven't, so our schooling is actually pretty high. Let's bump that down and see how much that affects our elementary. We're gonna get some high school capacity in here. So I'm not really worried about that. I'm more worried about this huge amount of elementary because we do need to get a high school in here. So we know that. So let's get a high capacity high school. And I wanna do, one of these, I think we're going to do this parking lot road. 
I've used these in the past for the high schools and I actually really like uh, their appearance. So if we bring this all the way across and then get some parking spaces in there and voila. So now we have a little bit of parking and I want to turn this into a nice high school. So we'll go like this and then let's do a small road coming off. Mm, you know, maybe not a small road. Let's do a path coming off. because so I want to try to get some sports complexes in here since it's a little bit farther away. This would be a really nice area to do like a nice full blown high school. So we'll have this come down. And then let's look at our sports now. So I think we have, yeah, we do. So let's um do a couple of these right across the way. It would be nice to get two of them, but I don't think it's the end of the world. We can do uh, football as well. Oh, so soccer. It's actually a nice little soccer stadium, especially for a high school. This would be a really nice uh, addition. I like that it has a little parking lot there too, which is nice. Let's get the gymnasium in right next to this, right next to the high school. So we'll grab our gymnasium right there. And what I'm thinking, so maybe if we go right there, I would like to get a little courtyard though. I don't really like that that's so close to that. I think I would prefer if this was like right here. Yeah, so I think we are gonna do just a small road. I think having this here would be a lot better than having it on the other side. Shift this over and then that way we can get like a small little courtyard in here, something nice. Maybe even do like a playground off the backside or some sports. Maybe, yeah, we'll do a basketball and tennis. And so what I'm going to do is just look up a small little curb. And I've done these in the past. It's I'm not going to get too crazy with it, but I want to just do a couple. I'm going to do a two by two slot and then grab one of these 16 meter squares, bring down my brush size. And then as long as I have prop anarchy on, I can just stack these. And what it does is it makes it into a pond. And so now we'll grab that. Let's go ahead and copy it over here. And let's do one more even spacing. So we'll go like that. It looks like that middle one is a little bit to the right. So I'm going to shift this over. And then what we can do is grab some concrete. I don't want to fill in the whole thing as concrete, but just this little space. Cause I want to get a little bit of a field too. Normally with high schools, you would have some sort of a field for people to like kind of run around on and stuff. Have this loop all the way around, go like this and voila. And so now we have a nice little space. I'm going to do something to clean this up. I, I, for some reason, got rid of my, a lot of my curbs. And the reason we're doing this is to try to clean up that concrete piece. And it's kind of funny for a high school. I don't think you would have anything like this as I'm sure this would probably be destroyed, but, um, I, I like the appearance of it. You know, it's a lot of times it's not necessarily about what would actually be in the city. It's more about like an idealistic approach like man what would look really cool and that's kind of what i try to design off of so we have a soccer field we have a gymnasium we have basketball and we have baseball so now all we would really need is american football and i don't know if we're gonna have enough space uh, i think that this is gonna be a little too tight all right and so i'm gonna place this here and i want to try to match up those little stands on the end a little bit i think that this actually looks good and, you know whs so it's like west western high school maybe um, and then we will just grab a fence and have it go all the way around and pop down some trees and stuff to kind of clean it up. All right, so our schooling area is complete. I actually really like this. I'm glad that we did like a big schooling area. We haven't done one of these in a little while. Um, I think our last one was actually the one over here that we did. And this one actually was pretty sizable, the Crater Lake High School. Um, we did the huge parking lot and everything, which is kind of funny. We um, didn't really do any parking over here. That would be uh, probably a problem, especially with all the kids wanting to get their own cars and stuff. So let's actually place down just a, a couple little parking lots. So we'll grab this copy. And then what we can do is actually have them come under here. Don't know if that would be necessary. So maybe we'll get rid of some of these, maybe where the pillars are, get rid of those. Yeah, you know, that looks a little bit better because then I can just put in some trees and do a couple little fences and say that this is, you know, faculty parking along with uh, student parking. And voila. And so now we have parking for our schooling area. We have a hospital. We have our fire department and police station, which is fantastic. We did do a lot of parking in here, which um, definitely kind of destroys a lot of the look, but I think it looks good. You know, it's definitely a good start. And so let's uh, start working on some residential in here. We definitely need to get some going. Let's go ahead and turn back on snapping. Let's grab these, have it come all the way across, have it come across. We're probably just gonna divide this whole section like this. And so what I'm thinking, let's um, paint this all as a district. We're gonna go all the way across and this will probably be the Marina district. And then we are probably gonna do some smaller districts. Uh, I think for the waterfront, we're probably gonna come through and do a separate one so that we can do organic and local produce. 
So I want to do wall to wall commercial, wall to wall office, and then I want to do self-sufficient residential. So we're going to use high density residential through this area. And I do want to leave some areas for parks. Let's actually get our plazas in first so that we don't have to demolish anything. So if we come in here, I want to utilize a couple of these. So I think we'll grab that, grab that. Let's um, copy that on this side. So we'll grab that. And I want them to be mirrored on either side so that they create like a nice little plaza space in there. I think we'll probably do maybe some hotels over here. So maybe those three rows for right now. And then we'll probably even still leave some room on either side of those plazas to kind of come back and create a little bit of a bigger space. And I don't want to just go crazy with the with the commercial um, because otherwise this whole area will just start to get extremely congested. So if we, let's do that, let's do that, and let's do that. So that now that we have, you know, some shops that are nearby, let's actually do this whole little section. Do, we'll leave this space empty maybe. I think that that could be good. Yeah, because we'll do some uh, organic and local produce shops in there. Let's get a couple hotels in here, and then we'll come through here and uh, do some residential as well. So we'll do some residential right here. Let's go ahead and get all three of these as residential because we really need to get some residents in. It's been a while since we've worked on residential. Let's actually leave a lot of this for hotel space. So we got a lot of uh, condominium slash residentials going on. All right, so we have some zoning down. It is now growing in. I really want to start getting some hotels down. So if we go into find it, I want to scroll through and I'm just in ploppable with custom and vanilla selected so that we can see if we have any skyscraper buildings as well. And this is really where the fun part kind of comes in. We can, you know, come up with ideas like maybe we could put a stadium because we already have a lot of stadiums in here. I don't know if that would be the best bet, but maybe we could get something up on this this hill that could actually look really cool. Like this uh, arena over here. So arena La defense from Paris. I feel like maybe this could be actually a really cool option because we actually so we have a big stadium right here and we have a big stadium over here so this would be more of like a an arena for basketball or maybe concerts or something like that so what we'll do is go ahead and make a road and i want this to be something that's gonna you know kind of flow in here i don't want it to just uh kind of be too hilly so we'll grab our level terrain tool. We'll come up over here and that is not the correct tool. So we will give that a second shot and I'm going to level this all out. And then what I'm gonna do is basically just draw in a road because I really like that it has this hillside. I think that this is gonna create a really fun look. I wanna do an inlet road and then have it come around. And I wanna turn this into like a stadium district. So we need to have a couple of entrances. Okay, and so I do want this road to kind of curve along here as well. So what I'm thinking is we'll probably go like right there and then let's go ahead and check out that arena now so if we grab this let's go ahead and plop it down and we're just going to place it and probably move it around with move it until we find a good location for it you know what though that's so funny i i really like uh that location right there i think that that's going to be fantastic let's uh grab a road and we will now have this kind of turn let's see if we can get this to go straight here i think that this is going to look a little bit better instead of curving with the road all right so i think that that's probably good right there let's go ahead and do just a small bit of parking over here maybe even just one parking garage and see about making some grounds all right so i got a parking garage in and i think it looks good i really want to get a grounds in here and so what i'm thinking is we will get something i want to get some shops I want to get maybe a fountain that could be really nice. Um, stadium districts tend to be really nice grounds a lot. And that's kind of what makes it fun to go to a, a game. But I think that that was a really nice addition, especially we got this little opening here. we got a lot that we can do in there. Let's go ahead and look at some hotels now, though. So we are going to go back into Ploppable with custom and vanilla on. Let's start scrolling through here and see what else we can find. I think this one right here would actually be a really good fit. This one's more of like an office building, but I like that, it, you know, it's a, a very modern kind of sleek, sleek look. And it fits really well in between here so that we don't have to uh, get rid of our layout. I'm anticipating us probably getting rid of some of these roads to accommodate some hotels. But if we could get away with without doing that as much as possible, I think it would be a little better. So I, we do have a pair of towers over here. So Continuum on South Beach, we have North Tower and South Tower. And these are some assets that were created by Thomas 13 to I know I've mentioned him in the past, but he is just a fantastic content creator, but I think that those look good. So I really like these condo towers. We do already have them though. So maybe we don't want to uh, go too crazy with buildings that we've already placed. So I went ahead and went into the settings of find it and checked uh, this little setting in here, show the number of existing instances of each 
of each asset. And this just, you know, makes it a little bit easier kind of managing some of these to see like, all right, you know, what buildings have we used and what buildings have we not? So I went ahead and did the sunken plaza um, shopping center over here. I saw that we hadn't used it. And this is from the plazas and promenades DLC. I actually really like that asset. I think it looks fantastic. This is a really cool building. It's uh, just, you know, like a shopping mall, but it has multi-tiered setup, especially right next to this. I think it's a really nice look. So we could even do like a, a little tunnel in here or something like that. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I ended up, um, I have some of these, the Edge by Common, which are Palm Beach series condominiums, but I actually really like them a lot. And these are by Thomas 13 to and these actually look like they are on the Steam Workshop. So what I'm gonna do, I want to kind of interlace these with maybe a couple tall buildings in here, but I really wanna get some nice grounds in and you can kind of see they got, they have really nice fronts. And so what, what I would imagine is maybe these are mixed use. So we could even probably do some small commercial in the front kind of masking these a little bit. And so I'm gonna go ahead and place all these down. Okay, so I ended up switching it up and using these kind of smaller condominiums in here. I felt like it was just gonna be a really nice kind of separation of the height differences in here. Um, but then I went ahead and did some more condo slash hotel space down here. And then I definitely took a 180 for these ones. So I really wanted to create a couple of pairs of really large hotels. So I actually turned this into a little bit of a bridge. And we're going to do the turn this into a big pool area. And so these are two. This is one large hotel. And then same with this. I went ahead and got rid of a road in the middle. We're going to do a pool space in here and do some fences around it and really turn it into something nice. And same with down here. I really want to get some rocks and some foliage, probably another pool. That would really be like the big draw for this area since it would be like right on the water. And so a lot of tourists would come down here, just be really nice. And then I did a large one over here as well. I wanted to get like a big curve in here. I felt like this was just going to be a really cool look. And I think it looks really awesome. I, I like the look of it so far. And so we definitely have some buildings coming in for our zoning. We have residential here. We'd still have a pretty steep demand for commercial. We could expand our commercial just across these and turn these into like little mall spaces, especially since they're the, the wall to wall. I, so I think we'll end up just extending some of these out. I don't want to get too crazy and just fill the whole thing in as it's just going to generate a ton of traffic. But these would be, you know, destinations to go to, especially right on the waterfront. So we'll probably go like that. And then I'll come back over here, kind of fill this in as well. And you know what? I think that this is already looking really cool. So I do want to come in here, like I'd said before, and do some organic and local produce in this little section. So we're going to dezone just this front side. And I want to get some little shops and stuff right on our waterfront because I feel like that's going to really help us to create a nice fun atmosphere down here. And then we need to start doing our boats and our little piers and stuff. And then I think we'll probably jump into a detailing time lapse and get all of our pools done and we can see how all this kind of comes together. All right, so I made that front little section organic and local produce. And so we're not gonna go through and do them all because I do wanna get some palm trees and stuff in here as well. I really don't want to get rid of this whole green space in here. So we'll probably go like that. And then let's come over here and probably do the same thing just on these little curbs. And this would be where like, if you're a local artist, you could rent out one of these little stalls as well. That's kind of how I view it rather than just a large uh, embankment of uh, commercial kind of like how this is where a lot of a lot of times it's harder for smaller businesses to get into, um, especially in America, you really get a lot of uh, big box or big retail com corporations that come through and just kind of swoop up all these little spaces um, or they're just priced out of it. I would like to get some more residential. We'll probably do some more residential in here. And then I think on the next couple episodes, we'll probably be playing around with this whole waterfront because I want to get some more hotels and really kind of decorate up our beach since we really haven't done anything with it. I think we will extend out this road though. I feel like this is a, a missed opportunity by us kind of leaving this blank. And we do still need to come in and do uh, some parks as well. We haven't done any parks. So we got, we got to remember to do that. Maybe we'll actually turn this um, big space in here into a park that could be good. So the, the high school does uh, function as a park as well. At least where I'm from, public spaces like that are utilized as park space as well. It's not just for the schools. And so let's go ahead and place down a big one in here. And then let's do just a couple smaller ones. So we, we don't really have a whole lot going on in terms of park access. We would definitely want to get at least a couple smaller parks. Maybe we'll place this right here and this will be the hotel grounds. And then let's um, grab a couple smaller ones as well. Come through here. Let's actually do a bigger one in here. We'll actually turn that whole space into a, a nice park. I think that that would be an excellent addition. I was kind of thinking we would do like another hotel right there, but I think a, you know, a nice park space would actually be a really good fit for that land. And then did we fill Yes, we got high density residential coming in there. 
And I think that this is already looking pretty good. So we got a park, we got a park, we got a park over here. We definitely don't have any park access back here, which would be a huge shame. Maybe we'll actually uh, grab one for right here. And so this is already looking fantastic. I really like what this is. I, I overall like the look of this a lot. I'm really glad that we decided on a waterfront area for this. And so now what I want to do, we need to start working on our pier. And so let's grab this and we need to do our path. So let's actually get in here and go to big pier. And we want to do the stairs. That's what it was. So then we want this to come down and the stairs are kind of finicky. It's, it's definitely not easy to get it going and looking really well. So you, you got to grab the, the note at the end and kind of lower it down. And once it touches the water, you want to kind of raise it up a bit. And so I do have some pier assets that I have left over from when I did the big marina. And so let's grab this and one of the piers that I place is actually underwater. So then this is kind of finicky. It does take a lot of time, but the end result is really what we're going for here. So what I normally do, because it kind of wants to place it underground at first, I'll place a couple of these and then I'll copy them and just place a bunch out here so that I can kind of use these as a template to kind of draw from rather than having to place them down. I will just copy this whole thing and go all the way around. It's a really easy way to just save a bunch of time whenever you're doing detailing like this. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get all this done real quick. All right, so I got all of the docks in. I even played around with a few boats. I may need to kind of shrink up some of these boat docks a little bit. And so now I want to jump over here and just get a couple little plazas in and then jump into a detailing time lapse. So I want to kind of give you guys an idea of what I'm going to do here because this is probably going to be a, a pretty extensive detailing time lapse. So I really want to get a, some, a nice little green space over here, probably even a small couple like commercial buildings in here. I'll probably end up using the wall to wall commercial, but then I'm going to do palm trees around. I'm going to decorate this backside, go into another park. I'm going to do some pools and waterfront areas in here. Probably going to add some rocks to our hillside to make it look a little more natural. Probably add some rocks over here as well and kind of, you know, fill in this space, make it look really dense and, and good. Um, I think for this underside, I'm probably going to do some more buildings, maybe some office space, probably a couple things of parking similar to what we did over here. And then I'll probably end up doing some pools. And I really want to add in a path over here since I've walked on sea walls like this. And I think it's a really kind of fun experience. Um, you can do some rocks back here to kind of clean it up. And overall, I think it's going to be a really fun build. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into a detailing time lapse and I will catch you guys on the other side.
Okay, so after many, many hours, I have finally finished. And I definitely, um, you know, I started off doing a little bit of detailing and then I just took it to the next level. So I ended up plopping down this building up here at the top just because I wanted to kind of fill in the space. I think it was a really good fit. I like the architectural look of it. Um, for our terminal, I did glass awnings going all the way through with some custom planters in here, some trees. Um, I ended up doing some commercial around the sides, and then I did a retaining wall going all the way around just because I really felt like it kind of tied the look together. I think overall this is a really cool uh, transit center. I, I really strive for this like kind of you know modern look whenever I do these. Um, I did plop down a couple other extra buildings. I wanted to get this spiral building in there. I felt like it looked really cool. Um, for our resorts, I did pools and little private spaces for a lot of them. I ended up doing uh, little receiving areas for this, as well as some fountains and then big pool in the middle. Um, another receiving area, big fountain out front um, over here. Same kind of deal. I did a, a couple of these little fountains. You can kind of see we're just having some issues with, with the decals and stuff. And this is just mod related. So once you get them up in there, you can kind of see that it's fixing it a little bit. Not much though, these are fountains, um, but for some reason they're just not showing up as fountains. I'll probably have to come back there and fix those. Um, that's one of the toughest things whenever you're playing with custom assets is every time you save, you exit the game, and you load back in, um, you have the possibility of something going wrong like that. These also have um, loading areas as well. Over here, I just did some trees with a couple little paths going through the middle, just kind of tie those together. I did some uh, office space up here. Down here, because the pools were on top, I decided to do um, parking and then just a little bit of commercial kind of underneath the bridge over here just to kind of tie it together with some curbs and stuff. Up here, I did a really big kind of shopping mall with a, um, a big office space in the middle just to provide like an anchor for this area other than the, the arena. So this would be an area where you could rent out some space like they have these in Las Vegas. You rent out your office and you kind of have some commodities around like food and stuff like that. And then I did do a bunch of rocks around our little hillside as well just to kind of bring this all together. I did a big park with some rocks and I really felt like this looked super cool. Pathway going up kind of tying in over here so now people can kind of walk down through here if they decide to. I did add in a big cemetery area. I was kind of looking at our services and there was a few that were missing. So I decided to add in just a huge cemetery. I did these uh, kind of planters lining the road and then kind of decorated it up, really made it into a space. Like if you're coming to visit your loved ones, you can kind of see, look at these, uh, look at these rocks, man, I swear. Crater Lake has some of the worst uh, rock issues I've ever experienced in a city. This is just, this is wild. They're really everywhere. And then going back over here, we did the school before. It looks really good. And I ended up, you know, adding in this commercial did a good, th this big park I didn't really touch on. You can definitely see we could probably add in some paths, maybe do a little bit more over there. I did add in a little plaza space just to kind of fill this in. I added in these two large hotels. I really wanted to get something that was going to be kind of symmetrical right on this edge. And I definitely took these a little bit further than I did the other one. So I added in a couple little tennis courts. They have private pools on top. Um, so then I decided to do like a kind of pond area. And you can see that this is experiencing some issues as well. Um, I don't know why this is uh, having the problems that it is. This was just perfect. <laughs> like I literally just built this. Uh, come on, what, what's happening here? Um, so basically, I just got to lift this up. Once I lift this up, then I'll push the water back. And there we go. So I added in some sand decals, did a couple little uh, umbrellas and stuff to create like a nice beach vibe. And I felt like this was just a really cool addition for this area. Um, and I did have to use a water spawn for this just to kind of get the water in there. And then this is just some more commercial, residential. I ended up adding in a huge um, freeway intersection with a large single point interchange down here. And I even busted out intersection marking tool, even though I don't normally do that. Um, I felt like this was a really good spot for it. And I did I did use some of the newer editions of intersection marking tool, like these trees back here were utilized with intersection marking tool, which is a really cool feature. Now we have access down here, which is fantastic. So people don't have to congest our roads going further up. And then I did add in some postal service and I added in a bank as well. I decided to only do a small branch because I really didn't want to demolish too much. And so we'll kind of have to see if this is enough for this area. This is only using two out of six for right now. And then I added in a uh, post office over here. So now we have uh, some postal service um, servicing this area, which is always good. And then last but not least, I added in the boats. And so now we have um, this park area back here too. So people can come up onto the seawall. I added in these rocks. And I think this is a really cool build. I overall think that this is fantastic. I, I really like marinas. Uh, I've only done a couple of them. And I know for a lot of people, I mean, these are really heavy builds. You really can't do this in vanilla 
just because of you know the actual marine assets and stuff maybe in city skylines 2 we'll be able to do a lot of this stuff and so go ahead and let me know in the comments down below what you guys think if i missed anything or if you guys have any ideas um, i think we're going to be working on crater lake a little bit more here since we kind of won city of the year i think that it's uh, kind of fitting and so if you enjoyed this episode you will definitely enjoy the episode on your screen and thank you so much for watching i'll catch you guys on the next one